How you doing, sis? All right. So you say you have an issue. You don't. You don't know where to go, right? What? How to? Because your landlord is gonna put you out if you don't pay a bill. And the bill is what, like forty dollars, twenty dollars. All right. Now, first, what you have to understand is that we, our organization, we're not, we're not like the Christian church. Put it that way, where we just help anyone that comes in. We have to know who we help first, right? So we're gonna give you a solution to your issue though, because the Mosai has you in that situation for a reason. That's what you have to understand. The Mosai has all of our people in a perverse situation and want of all things for a reason. You understand that? Give me Matthew 6 and 33 real quick. You have to understand that first, because your first job right now is to examine yourself to know, okay, Lord, why am I going through this? You're supposed to seek God in these situations. Read that. Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness uh -huh. and all these things shall be added unto you It says seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness You know what God's righteousness is sis? What's your name? Little baby Little baby? You know what, you know what God's righteousness is little baby? You know where it says um, don't worry about it yeah. Huh? You know, God, let's get God's righteousness real quick. We're going to show you what God's righteousness is and see if you really want the help that the Most High is, is trying to give you by having the prophets out here to, to teach you the Bible and to, in order for you to get closer to your God. Right? Read. Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 25. And it shall be our righteousness. It shall be our righteousness if we do what? If we observe to do all these commandments which before the Lord our God as he hath commanded us. Right, so... Most high's righteousness is to keep God's laws, statutes, and commandments. Right, right. So Christ said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you, right? So what are these things that's going to be added? Now read that verse. Read up. Matthew chapter 6, verse 25. Get out. Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life. Uh -huh. What you shall eat. What you're going to eat. Or what you shall drink. What you're going to drink. Nor yet for your body. Yet for your body. It doesn't matter where you're going to stay tonight. The Most High says his people are not to worry about those things. Why? Read. What you shall put on. Uh -huh. Is not the life more than meat and the body more than raiment? Go ahead. Behold, the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, uh -huh. nor gather into barns. So think about the birds real quick, sis. The birds, they don't plant the seeds that they eat, right? But they still get fed, right? Read. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Are you not much better than a pigeon walking around eating breadcrumbs and seeds off the ground? That they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't work for it at all. Bring it out. Provided for. So the Most High God knows what you need, but you must seek His righteousness first. Right. Our, we're not an organization that's just going to give the give me um Sirach chapter what is it twelve? Sirach twelve. You got to understand what what we are about. You understand because if we was a Christian. One of them Christian groups right now on the corner, they may give you the $20 that you need or that you want, right? But we don't know you like that, sis. If to give you money, we don't know what you're gonna do with that money. You understand? So our job, we, our job is to feed you with the love of God so that you know who you are, so that you can get closer to God, and then become a part of the most sized people. Right, right. Then you can get the assistance that you can that, that you need from us. Read. The book of Sirach, chapter 12, verse 1. Yeah. When thou wilt to do good, uh -huh. know to whom thou doest it. So the Bible tells you when you are to do good, know to whom you doest it. Because right. a lot of times they see us coming out here and they want a sandwich or they want, they, want, they want a handout, they want us to pay a light bill and things of that nature. That's not what we do. Because the Bible tells us to know who we do good to. Right, right. You understand, read. So shalt thou be thanked for thy benefits. Because then we're going to get thanks for our benefits. Why? Because... When the ungodly come and they and they take from you, they don't thank you for it. A lot of times you see them people walking around handing out sandwiches or water and different things or paying bills. They grab the sandwich, take it and go. They don't say thanks, they don't say anything. And you get nothing for that. Read. Do good to the godly man. Do good to the who? The godly man. Do good to those that seek God's righteousness first. That's what we're commanded to do. Is to do good to them that seek God's righteousness. Right. A godly man or woman, read. And thou shalt find a recompense. Then and it, you'll find a payback for the good that you've done to them people. But for uh, us, if we were to give just any, any random person that wants five or ten dollars, that five or ten dollars, and they go and smoke crack, how is that going to help us? 
How's that going to help them? For you. How does that make us look now? Because we're, we're enabling them to continue in their wickedness because we don't know them. You understand? Read on. And if not from him, yet from the Most High. So when we do good to a godly person, we're going to get that payback. Regardless, if it's not from them, we're going to get it back from the Most High. That's right. Because that's who we trust in. That's who we believe in. Read on. There can no good come to him that is always occupied in evil. But no good can come to anyone that's always occupied in evil, though. So if someone is in there in the midst of sin, doing all kind of ungodly things, and we try to help them, it says no good can come to them. The Most High has them in that position. The Most High has us in poverty. The Most High has us in disease stricken situations. The Most High has us about to get evicted in order for us to seek Him. That's the purpose of it. Read on. No matter of fact, hold that. Get Hosea 5 and 15. Hold that though. I'm going to show you how the Most High deals with His people. And I want that one in, in um, Job where it says He opens their ears in oppression. Find that thing. Hosea, Hosea chapter 5 Verse 15 This is the God that we serve This is the most high God of this Bible here This is the God of the so called Black, Hispanics and Native Americans That's right This is our God right here, this is how he works, watch I will go and return to my place go ahead. Till they acknowledge their offense The most high God said so he's going to go And return to his place So we read in Matthew 6 And he provides for us Liberally, as long as we seek them. The birds don't got to worry about what they eat. The birds don't, the, 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 the lilies don't have to worry about what they wear. They don't have to worry. If you seek God first, he's going to take care of you. But if you're not, he's going to do this. Read it from the top. I will go and return to my place uh -huh. till they acknowledge their offense. Because part of you being a godly person and seeking the kingdom of God first is acknowledging that you that you're in sin. That you're not Yo. keeping his law, statutes, and commandments. Read. And seek my face. Go ahead. In their affliction. In their what? In their affliction. In their affliction. They're being evicted out of their house. Their lights getting cut off. Their water's getting cut off. They can't take care of their family. They on welfare. Um, child custody services coming to take their children. You working a dead end job. In your affliction, they will do what? They will seek me early. They will do what? Seek me early. I'm gonna ask you a question, sis. What's the purpose of us being afflicted as a people? I can't, what? What's the purpose of the Most High God putting us in this situation, brother? To turn to him. To turn to him. To turn to him. That's right. That's the, and that's our job. Right. Read it again from the top. I will go, Hosea chapter 5 verse 15. Go ahead. Go ahead. I will go and return to my place uh -huh. till they acknowledge their offense. So the reason why we're getting shot down in the streets, the reason why we are, um, Addicted to drugs, the reason why we live in the, the worst neighborhoods on the planet, the reason why our households are out of order, the reason why our children are the, the, the worst educated kids on the planet, the reason why we live like this is because we have not acknowledged our offense against God. Right, right. We glorify the wickedness that we're in. Right, get out. What type of people glorifies being a whore, or a drug dealer, or a thot, or a thug? Or a murderer. What people does that? Bring it out. That's not normal. That is not normal for people to glorify and want to be a damn killer. Bring it out. To sell poison to their people. Bring it out. Read on. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. And seek his face. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Read. In their affliction. In their affliction. We are being afflicted today as a people. There's a purpose behind it. Read. They will seek me early. It's for the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans to seek God. Right. So when you That's see the right. men of the Lord get up here, your question should be, how do I serve God better? How right. do I become a better man? Right. How do I become a better sister? Right. How do I get myself out of this situation? Give me Matthew 4 and 4, brother Long. Because our job is not to, to pay nobody's bills that is not following God. Right. That's just not our job. You do drugs, sis? Huh? You smoke cigarettes and weed, right? So how do we know that you don't take that $20 that we give you and buy, buy, buy a nickel back? You know. Huh? Or buy a dub sack? My thing is, how do we know that? You're not going to stop smoking weed today, are you? 
And if you smoke weed, guess what happens? I'm pretty sure you're gonna wanna hit a blunt sooner, today sometime. Am I lying? No, I'm not, right? So that money that we were to give you, I'm pretty sure that money would be going to a dub sack or a nickel bag or a dime sack. Yo, Somewhere yo. you may take 10 and pay the bill or whatever the hell you're gonna do with it, but the rest goes to that weed. That's not our job, sis. Read that. Matthew chapter four, verse four. But he answered and said, it is written, Man shall not live by bread alone. Man shall not live by bread alone. So our job is not to give you physical bread when we come out here on these streets. Right. Our job is not to give you money. What we what are we supposed to give you? Read. But by every word. But by what? Every word. Every word that, that comes where? That proceeded out of the mouth of God. We are to read the Bible, explain the Bible, and teach the Bible to our people to bring you back to God. Right. Our job is to show you why you're going through the situation you're in and give you the solution. Give me Job, that, that thing in Job. Job 37. 36. Read that. We're going to show you the God that we deal with and how he deals with his people. What? Why do you think we went on slave ships? Bring what type out. of God? And then the question is, what type of God went, went do, do his people like that? Bring it out. That's how people ask. That's why we have all these atheists running around talking about, oh, it can't be a God, and our God can't be black. And all it's not Aries Spears. You have to go. Read this. Job chapter 36, verse 15. Right? He delivered the poor in his affliction. He delivereth the poor in their affliction. He openeth their ear in oppression. Read. And openeth their ears. He does what? Openeth their ears. How? In oppression. In oppression. That's why our people are being oppressed by God. Right. God has us like that because of our own wickedness. And it's also to open up our ears. Right. right. Open up our ears to the understanding of the Most High God. How God works and what he requires of us. Now go back to Sirach 12. Now you can make the book of Sirach, chapter 12, verse 4. Go give to the godly man. We are to give to the godly man or woman. The, the godly man or woman that is seeking God's laws, statutes, and commandments that we know is going to do what they say they need with the money or the, whatever we give them. If they need a car, somebody got an extra car and want to give them the car, we know that they're not going to take that car, pawn it, and go buy drugs. Right. We know that they're going to do something godly with what we give them. Right. Read. And help not a sinner. And do what? Help not a sinner. We're not supposed, listen, our people are in the midst of sin. All of our people are in the midst of sin because guess what? They don't know God. If we was at a point where we didn't know God. We know God now. Does that mean that we walk around here and we don't commit sin though? We're not gonna sit up here and act like we perfect. We battle though. That's the difference. We battle, we struggle. Cause we know what we're doing is wrong. And we don't make excuses for it. When we fall, we get back up. Right. Not right. fall and make excuses to continue in it. Bring it out. God say don't eat pork, but I'm going to eat it anyway. Yeah. That's yeah. not our mentality. <laughs> read on. Do well unto him that is lowly. Do well unto him that is in a lower state. Read. But give not to the ungodly. He says, but give not to the ungodly. So that means you give to the lowly person that's amongst your brothers and sisters that seek after God's laws, statutes, and commandments. Right. right. You understand? Read. Hold back thy bread. Says, hold back your bread. So no, we're not going to pay her bill. Hold back. Read. And give not unto him. And don't give to him. Read. Lest he overmaster thee thereby. Lest he overmaster thee thereby. So we give him the money. They go do drugs. And guess what? That same person may come back and shoot your daughter. Right. Or shoot right. your father. That same, and they, that same person that we enabled. Because we gave to them. It could be that same person that go ahead and, and, and commits a murder tomorrow. Right. Because you've been overmastered because you haven't disciplined yourself to doing what God says to do. Because you come up here in tears, crying and stuff. Man, we know game. You don't think we know game? The game, the game master is here in this Bible here. Right. right. And he prevents us from being gamed if we listen to him and follow what he says. That's right. right. Let it on that. Read on. For else thou shalt receive twice as much evil. If we, if we help sinners, we're going to receive twice as much evil. Read. For all the good thou shalt have done unto him. For all the good that we think we're doing by right. giving people sandwiches that need the word of God. Right. right. And trust me, they'll find something to eat. Trust me. Those rapes, rapists, we've been, we'd be at that bus station. Them dudes in the midst of all type of sin, all type of crimes, and when them 
them Edomites and them Christians come around with the sandwiches, who you think going and getting them sandwiches? Bring it out. Same people that says that's robbing, raping, and murdering our people out there. Bring it out. Teach. And what you think will happen to the people that's enabling that thing? What you think God's going to do to them people? They're going to get twice the judgment for helping enable them. Instead of giving them a fly or telling them, hey, brother, you need to change your life. Sister, you need to stop whoring yourself out. Right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.